it's kind of insane guys we are in, soon in the middle of September and uh, the weather is absolutely amazing uh, here not normal for Norway Bergen at all over 20 degrees and the Sun is shining and the weather is just amazing and summer so far has been quite strange in July when it's typical to have uh, vacation in Norway it was raining for four weeks and then you're starting at work again and the weather clears up so it's pretty insane it is I'm out hiking at the trail today that I don't visit that much but it's a beautiful trail for sure it's just nice to walk where there's not too many people and uh, I really love to walk here because it's just beautiful it is so we're walking through a farm area now and we're heading to the trail so I haven't seen anybody yet so that's a good sign that I'm more or less alone uh, it's nice to, nice to meet people of course but it's nice to, nice to walk in peace too <music> It's a little bit shady in this area and maybe that's a good test uh, for the Sony FDR. I was planning to do a test with this camera today against the Action 2. Just want to see an image quality, audio quality and overall how good the cameras are compared to each other. I've done a similar test before but the weather wasn't that nice and uh, I actually uh, took on a dead cat, dead cat on this camera. A wind muff just to see how good the audio is and the audio on the Sony FDR is excellent as we all know and I thought this was a good test walk on this trail with different lightning conditions and uh, yeah a nice weather of course so we're gonna walk on this trail it's quite beautiful and do a comparison between the Action 2 and the Sony FDR I'm actually filming in 4k on the Sony FDR. I usually don't do that and it's gonna be fun to see how good the image quality is from the Sony FDR in 4k. Fingers crossed that it is but uh, you can't change the field of view on the Sony FDR when you're filming in 4k but you just have to wait and see and hopefully the trail is nice and dry today. Quite a dense area here, a lot of bugs out now because it's quite moist in the air. That's typical when mosquitoes are really enjoying themselves. So it's really going to be fun to see how good the image quality is on the Sony FDR. The stabilization is optical as we all know. And I'm filming in neutral color profile because I want to tweak the colors a little bit uh, to make it as good as possible. But uh, hopefully it looks good. This is a beautiful trail for sure. We're not going to walk too far today, but uh, we're going to walk a couple of kilometers and we're going to test it against the Action 2. That's going to be fun. It's quite dark here. Hopefully the image looks good. But one thing you will notice uh, quite fast with this camera is that it's using a lot of battery and the battery life is pretty bad, that's for sure. Uh, the Action 2 is way better. Not if you're only using the camera module on the Action 2, but uh, if you're using the whole module design. Uh, but the Sony FDR is 
It's a small battery, so it's not impressive in battery life at all. But I really enjoy using this camera and I know that a lot of people really enjoy to use it because it's a good camera, good quality, good image quality and it's quite uh, a popular camera amongst a lot of people and still it's quite difficult to get hands on this camera and the price is pretty high if you find it so that's uh, that's, tell, that's tell you something about the quality of it so I really was hoping that Sony would launch a new action camera they have something Sony RX something but I'm not quite sure about that camera stabilization was not good on that Sony camera that's what people are saying but the image quality is supposed to be good on it Sony RX 100 or something I think it's a one inch sensor but uh, yeah let's walk it's nice So I think it's time to switch to the Action 2 and I have a nice little bag for it. Uh, we're going to use uh, the, uh, the camera module and the screen module. And we're going to compare the Sony FDR versus uh, the Action 2 in similar scenery. And just to see uh, which camera performs best, audio quality, image quality, stabilization. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the Action 2 is going to be a little bit better, but not that much. And the price is actually similar if you get the camera module with the power module that's quite strange but uh, they dropped the price on it now just because of uh, the action 3 is coming really soon and it seems like DJI is going back to the old design so let's open this little bad boy and here you can see the action 2 the camera module and I have the magnetic cage which is quite good actually makes it a little bit more yeah, not overheating at that easy, but I never experienced any overheating with this camera, so it's just fine for me. And attach it to the screen mode. And let's find a tripod to use. I hope I'm in frame. I need to point this only FDR a little bit upwards because I don't have a good tripod for it. And I need to use this tripod for the action too. Uh, just because I'm usually using the Ulanzi MT16 but uh, this is quite a good uh, tripod too so we're gonna attach it to that simple as that and we're gonna test this camera against the Sony FDR so let's get on Hey guys, we switch now to the Action 2. As you can probably see, I'm using Rocksteady and Standard d -Wall because that's the normal setting on this camera. You also have option to shoot in steady mode, which crops in a little bit, but get rid of some of the distortion. I'm walking into an area now where it's quite low light. So this is a good test for the camera. We all know that action cameras are not performing that good in low light. But the Action 2 is one of the best camera actually, with a bigger sensor, and uh, so it's quite all right. We're walking through this woods, and it's actually beautiful. So, what do you think about the standard D-Warp and the audio quality on the Action 2? I'm speaking with the same voice as I did with the Sony FDR. I'm going to turn on the Sony FDR in the same scenery, and then we're going to walk. A little bit around here and test the cameras just to see how they perform in low light there are some lights here not much at all so it's pretty low light so let's switch to the sony fdr okay guys we're walking at the exact same area as i did with my 
action two, uh, testing the, the Sony FDR in low light and compare it against the action two in 4K 30. Uh, I'm shooting in 4K and you can't change the field of view on the Sony FDR. You can't do that. You can do that on the action two. So this is quite dark area, but how does the camera performs? Um, so pay attention to the details. The settings are more or less exactly the same. I'm filming in neutral. Uh, auto white balance is set to 5500, and exposure is set to minus 0.3 on the Sony and the Action 2. So this is quite a dark area to test the camera. We're going to walk a little bit further and do a side by side test with a Sony FDR and it's quite beautiful here. place I never walked before but it's always fun to uh, explore new trails and just walk around a little bit I'm pretty familiar with this area so it shouldn't be a problem but you never know so we just need to follow the trails and I'm pretty sure we will come to an area where we are familiar with always fun to Explore new places. It is it's beautiful now. If you actually start to see that fall is getting closer, uh, there are some brown leaves and the colors are changing. And this uh, season is beautiful. Uh, when you have the changes in the color in nature, it's quite nice. So what do you think about the image quality? between the Action 2 and the Sony FDR. Is there a big difference? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. It's always that easy to find a trail. It seems like we need to go That way. I have the two cameras side by side now walking in this trail. So what do you think about the image quality? Is there a big difference? And of course stabilization. We're just gonna walk further and see. But is there a big difference in colors? Sometimes I think that the Sony colors is a little bit cold. So you just need to tweak them a little bit. The Action 2 actually looks pretty good in normal color profile, but I also try to film in the Cinelight because I want to make my own grading, but yeah. The easiest way is to go for neutral or normal colors. Let's see. Let's just walk. The weather is absolutely fantastic. So I'm standing behind the cameras now, walking. So what do you think about the audio quality? I know that the Sony is really, really good. But the Action 2 is pretty good too. But sometimes you need to raise the gain quite a lot. But still the audio is good. Let's see. Maybe we need to go down here. But the battery life is really bad on the Sony. So you need to have a bunch of batteries with you if you want to film a whole day. But they are quite cheap, so it shouldn't be any problem. The Action 2 has really good uh, battery life, actually, I think. It 
seems like I'm only walking in circles, but that's fine. I'm not in a rush. It's quite wet here. Let's see. It's a gate over there. Okay, but let's keep walking. Let's walk. It seems like we are going in circle. No one know that. So this could be a perfect trail for running. So what do you think? This was a really fun test and uh, always fun to compare camera to each other and I know that a lot of people are bored of watching videos like that but I think it's good for some people to see some comparison because they are maybe planning to upgrade or, or not and maybe they are thinking of which camera they should buy and how much money they should spend. So it's always good to, to see some reviews and see some sample footage just to buy the right camera. So if you like videos like this and biking and trail running and stuff like that, why not give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I got a lot of support lately and that's great. A lot of nice people. So uh, why not give me a thumb up, subscribe and leave a comment down below if there are anything else you want to see. Is there any videos that are really interesting to you for me to test? Let me know and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.